What's up guys? So it's been an amazing holiday, um, but every good holiday, well every good thing has to come to an end sometime. So um, this is Never Have I Ever Been From The Cape To Kempton. That's taken first shift of driving, so we stopped here by this picnic spot just so that he can eat his burger. What's up, guys? We've arrived in Barrydale. We're gonna stop at this shop for some spices. Small town of Barrydale, right in the heart of the Karoo. So we got our spices, got some coffee, and we're ready to go. So we have arrived in a little town called De Rist. This is where we're going to be sleeping tonight because the drive is way too far to go in one day. So we're splitting it into three. So this is the first, yeah, the first place we're sleeping over. And it's called De Rist Boutique Backpackers. There's the house we're going to stay in. And there's the street. You, this town is so small. You literally drive through and blink your eyes and you're through it. That's the end of it. And there's the start of it. Accommodation is very simple. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with that. Pizza oven. What's up guys? Next morning, um, still waking up. <laughs> uh, our next stop is at the Orange River. You can see all the morning people on the road, all the people heading back to Jersey. There's another one. <laughs> So I realized I didn't have cash to pay for the backpackers, so I'm quickly walking to the ATM. Um, it's not far, it's just over there by the post office. <coughs> but yeah, we're just saying goodbye to everybody now and then we're gonna leave. We're gonna hit the road now. Lucky KFC for breakfast. So it's day two on the road, and we're gonna grab some breakfast in Willowmore. So that was amazing. There's nothing like a career breakfast to get your good day. <laughs> Tell me, how would you rate this breakfast? Satisfying. Nice.
we have arrived in Graaf Renet. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful town um, and it always warms your heart to come here and behind me is this beautiful church this church is the centerpiece of the town it's very well known all over South Africa and uh, it's built out of stone and it is still active today we made a quick pit stop for refreshments We have arrived. So we went down a small 4x4 route to get to the river from the camp where we're staying. Uh, this is the Orange River. It, uh, and we're very close to the largest dam in South Africa, which is the Kharip Dam. But uh, we're only going to that dam tomorrow morning. Look, I'm right next to the river. How incredible is that? It's always good to have someone uh, driving ahead, um, seeing which way to go. Oh, We have arrived at uh, the Orange River on our 4x4 excursion. This is the longest and the biggest river in South Africa. Wow, what a sight. So uh, everyone's up and awake. We've had our coffee. This morning we're going to the Kharip Dam wall. It's going to be pretty beautiful. I'll show you when I get there. And uh, we're going back home today. So uh, yeah, enjoy. <music> So behind me is the largest and longest river in South Africa and here's the dam wall. It's huge. You don't really realize how big this dam really is until you stand here where I am right now. Wow, it's just water everywhere. And to think that this dam is actually very empty. It's day three, we're on the road and still going strong. Toilet break in Bloemfontein. They literally closed the entire highway for a bunch of mobile clinics. It doesn't make sense. Okay, we just stopped here in Kronstadt at the Shell City. We are almost home. So excited. After an endearing long ride, we're home, home sweet home. <laughs> 